Hey there, Newton here. How are you guys? Hope you guys are doing well over there. Welcome to the Bite Size Tutorial Series for 3D FPS game. Here in this series, we will be breaking down the steps on making a basic FPS game in smaller pieces. Today, we will be creating the project and setting up the stage. First things first, we need to open up Godot. If you still have no Godot engine, just download the standard installer on their website and install it. Pause the video for a while and we'll be waiting for you. First, we will need to browse to the desktop of the computer. Then, we'll name the project first 3D FPS or anything you want. Side note, the basic controls for 3D in Godot is holding middle mouse for rotation and then shift middle mouse to move the view. Next, we'll create a 3D node or spatial node. Then, we will name it Sandbox because this is where we will do all of our creative stuffs. After that, we will be creating our stage, adding a CSG combiner node, which is a good node in making prototype stages, adding a CSG box and let's create our floor. This floor looks too clean. A quick fix for this is adding texture. For organizing purposes, we will create an import folder then importing the texture by dragging it down to the folder. I'll be putting a download link for the texture below. Now to apply it to our floor, click the drop down on the texture then select spatial node. Clicking the texture to display its properties, we will only be manipulating its appearance and color so head to the albedo tab. Browse the texture or just simply drag and drop it. Then for the color we will just leave it white. Now we will go to flags, enable trilinear, Head to the UV1 and enable the trilinear also. For this tutorial, let's scale it to 0.5 on X, 0.5 on Y, and 0.5 on Z. Now, our floor will look like a portal test stage. Save the material by clicking the screwdriver wrench icon, then click save as. We'll create another folder, naming it texture, then renaming the file to floor. Now for some walls. For this, we can duplicate our floor so we don't have to redo the texture thing. But to make this material different, let's click the drop down then make it unique. Now we can manipulate its color without applying it to the floor material. Change the color to something like yellow. Then save it as wall. Lastly, we will do it again for our platforms. Now, we have all the things we need. We can now create a simple stage. We can click and drag these circles to extend our stage, arrows to move, or adjust it from the properties tab. Duplicate the walls and readjust them. And there you go! Great work today! We created our stage for the game. The next part is adding our player. So don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification icon to get updated on the next part. Until then, take one step at a time and cheers.